the Chanel 22, should we be running in the other direction? It's been brought to my attention over the past two weeks that the Chanel 22 is not performing in the way it should be, uh, or the way as advertised as being a durable leather. Some issues were brought to my attention and I was asked to take a look at my own bag and uh, I am quite picky when it comes to quality and when it comes to bags and um, I took a closer look and I thought I'd update you guys on it. So many of you have probably watched my friend uh, Jacob's channel, Super Jacob, had released a video just recently on his purchase of the Chanel 22 in the beautiful uh, dark fuchsia pink that came out for the Métier de collection for 2022, for 22A. And that was his birthday purchase for himself. And unfortunately, uh, he started noticing issues um, because he was sent photos from some of his subscribers who were experiencing issues of peeling um, and cracking on their bags. Romina Rosemay also did a video recently, which I did get to watch, and she purchased a metallic purple 22 bag in the medium size, I believe, the same size as I have, um, from 22A as well. And she did a video that her bag was cracking and cracking and peeling. And um, again, these issues are not acceptable by any means at all. Doesn't matter, um, you know, I think Romina, her concerns were sort of dismissed by the boutique. Uh, it wasn't the boutique where she purchased the bag from. Uh, they were dismissed that, well, it's a metallic leather, what do you expect? Um, but again, if you're using that sort of leather to design a bag, it's not excusable, okay? So um, it doesn't matter what the brand is and how much I love the brand. If there is a quality issue, I will call them out. Uh, I'm not gonna be um, playing favorites or anything like that. If there's a quality issue, we need to raise awareness on it. Now, I seldom go for new release bags, okay? Uh, this is where I took a risk and I, and I identified this when I, I'm gonna put this down, um, when I first did my unboxing video that, you know, this is the first time I'm going for a new release and I was excited because I love the color. The Cora color is just absolutely stunning. And um, I'm gonna take a risk, right? This is the first rendition of the bag from the collection. Uh, this is seen on the runway. Uh, and I am still uh, absolutely in love with the color, the concept of the bag. Um, I think it is an amazing bag. I was, uh, I did take it with me recently on a trip. I went to Hawaii and I was going to post an update because I did get an opportunity to use it. I bought this before spring started really in Canada. I mean, I think, I think it was April when I bought it, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I think April. Um, and, or when I unboxed it, I have to look. But it was still, you know, not sunny and cool and I wanted to use this in the spring, right, when it's nice and sunny out. And I had an opportunity to use it. Uh, I'm not saying I did heavily use it, but I used it a handful of times. So basically walking around in the city, uh, I took it with me to the spa. I just kind of put some items in there. Um, you know, it just has a casual sort of bag over, you know, just giving casual spring vibes. So not overloaded or anything like that. So that's kind of the use I had, but I did appreciate that it folds flat. So like this, has, this is stuffed right now with like the tissue and everything, but I was able to just kind of like lay this flat in my carry-on and it traveled beautifully. Okay, I got a lot of compliments on it. I know somebody did a video where one of the letters had fallen off of her bag. Uh, that's very unfortunate. And again, inexcusable has not happened to me. Um, mine uh, has, I know Jacob did a video and he was talking about like the stitch and so was Romina. Um, mine, actually before I even go further, I'd want you to watch Romina Rose May's video because I don't want to paraphrase her whole experience. I think if any of you are, click, if any of you clicked on this video, first of all, you of course have an interest in the 22 and want to know the performance and if it's worthwhile buying and you want to get some updates on the bag. I am the same. Again, this is the first time I'm going for a new release. Usually I wait until, you know, enough people have had the bag, if I'm hearing any issues. Um, and then, you know, I decide if this is something for me. I don't normally jump on, you know, a trend or anything like that. But this time I did, I just took a risk, okay? Um, so mine is the first batch and it's in the medium size and mine, um, the stitch, which Romina was talking about, hopefully it focuses, oh gosh. 
Does it focus? Am I focusing? There we go. Mm. Okay, well anyway, that stitch doesn't go all the way to the end. Okay, it stops just before this bit. I'll insert a photo if I can. Um, so that is an even here, right? Like, it doesn't go to the end. This one doesn't go to the end. Um, and Romina and Jacob were talking about having, if the stitch goes all the way to the end, it creates more force on the leather where the chain can, you know, um, it can accelerate cracking on a drier metallic leather. Um, and Jacob had experienced peeling and I saw photos, uh, there's peeling of the leather where the chain is, is rubbing through the tunnel. Now for me, a lot of people had asked, sent me messages asking me, okay, how, what's happening with your 22? Did you experience any issues? So far, um, I don't have any huge issues with mine. The body of the bag is fine. Okay. So I haven't experienced any issues there. I did take a closer look at where this chain um, kind of passes through this area here and I'm gonna look at I looked at all four corners so this one is okay this one I'm gonna send I'm gonna put in some close-up photos I do notice that uh, there are I guess like a removal of color um, and underneath is uh, is like a white and on this side here, I don't notice anything. So on the front, I don't really notice anything. It's more so on the back panel where I notice that there is, um, it's as though the, the top layer has been kind of scraped off. It's a very, very small spot. Um, the chain, the leather on the chain is okay on mine. So there are concerns. Um, you know, with Jacob's bag, like, I mean, the photos I saw, it looks, it's bad. I don't, I don't, I think that it's awful. Um, and, uh, you know, he's still in that return window. So for anyone who is experiencing issues like this, and you are in the return window, my advice to you is to take it in and take it back. Take it back. If you're still in the return window, take it back. Like, don't wait around. At least you know, because you have every right to return a bag if you don't like it. Um, and then, of course, quality issues and stuff like that afterwards, like, in my experience with Chanel, I don't have any doubts that they won't take care of quality issues because every time I've taken something in for repair, it's it's been okay, provided that, you know, it's something that they can repair. The concern isn't wear and tear, because here, like, the chain kind of, like, rubbing through this. Um, this is something that people did sort of anticipate that there will be rubbing, you know, in, on the leather. And yeah, I, I did anticipate that. Um, I didn't think it would be really bad. The concern isn't so much wear and tear and like rubbing. It's the concern is, is this even leather? That's the concern because this is a colored bag. We all know leather hides do not come in this color. We also know that cows are not colored, or sorry, lamb, lambs, <laughs> lamb, lamb. We know that they're not colored Barbie pink, okay? Their, their hides are not colored in this way. They're very, <laughs> they are, um, you know, natural organic colors. We also know that cows don't come in this color, okay? These more pastel, light, or bright saturated colors, um, they're not like, and, and I've mentioned this before with like my green trendy CC. So the way that these leathers are dyed, I'm not exactly sure how, but to my, um, whatever I feel or what I feel is that the color is laid on top. These are not soaked and dyed through. I don't think that's possible. Um, and that the leathers have to be like bl almost like bleached or blanched first before you put color on top. Um, just like with woods, okay? So if any of you have like hardwood in your home or like wood cabinets, 
if they are a color that is darker than what natural oak or pine or whatever or maple is then you will stain it okay so it'll be stained and the the wood would absorb the stain and then you'll keep staining it to get the color saturation you want if you have white cabinets okay like wooden cabinets or you have like white floors or you have bleached oak cabinets or bleached oak floors or gray cabinets or gray floors like it's going to be a coating on top Okay, so if you have white um, kitchen cabinets that are made of oak or maple, they're going to be painted, right? So my, my understanding is bags like this color are painted. There's a color that's laid on top. So, you know, um, on mine, that little speck that's gone, it looks as though the paint is come off, okay, in that very small um, spot. So... To me, when I look at this, it's as though it's, it's come off. This does smell like leather. It smells like leather. Um, when I sort of like mush it around, I could see um, kind of like a, a, it kind of wrinkles like leather. However, I may not have the knowledge about new materials that are out there. I may not have the knowledge, like I might be fooled, right? Um, so there is a concern whether or not this bag is leather based on the flaking uh, that people are experiencing because underneath doesn't look like leather. If you have rubbing of leather, it looks kind of like suede underneath, right? And you're not getting that here. Um, and you're actually getting like, it's almost like as though there's like a glue or a paint on top that's coming off. And it looks like there's canvas underneath or something like that. So. I have not been able, I'm not going to cut through the bag to see what it is. I don't know how I would do that, but there's concern there because, you know, these aren't cheap bags. This is an expensive handbag for what it is. I recognize that to begin with. This is not a cheap price for what this is, okay? You are buying a designer piece. Um, and your understanding is that it's full grain leather. So if it's not, then that is deeply concerning because that's kind of the reason why you're buying these bags not saying that a full grain leather handbag would come with this price point but still right you're expecting that of a luxury brand like Chanel um, when it comes to so I'm gonna you know because mine isn't that bad I'm still gonna take it in and I'm gonna ask questions I'm gonna try to find out the information as much as I can and perhaps come back with an update um, you know, I can ask some of the other um, creators if we can chat about this and sort of get to the bottom of what's happening. Some of you are asking, like, should I sell my 22 and you haven't used it yet? I don't know what to tell you. I really don't know what to tell you. If you feel uneasy and you are, um, you know, apprehensive about performance issues later on, you know, it all depends on the bag that you have and how you use it. Now, Dega barely used it. I mean, he, he barely used it. He just wore it once and he noticed that there was an issue. So that is deeply concerning. Um, so if your bag is, I mean, if my bag is defective, let's say, and I have, you know, peeling and cracking, I don't feel comfortable selling it off to somebody else. It's just from a, I don't feel right doing that. Um, if there's a quality issue, that is something that is between me and Chanel and we need to sort it out and they need to, you know, help with that. I haven't approached them yet, so, and, and my it, mine isn't as obvious to show, but definitely, you know, if it's something that's going to get worse, then I will have to, you know, take action and I'm not, you know, afraid of speaking up on quality issues as I always do. Another thing I wanted to bring to your attention was uh, my Hermes Birkin. Now, again, um, haven't worn it too many times, um, but I do notice some issues like right off the bat when I did um, when I did open it actually. So on this part here, there is a frayed stitch. Okay, I'll probably take I'll take some close up shots, but there's a frayed stitch on this. Now that doesn't mean that I don't think that this is something that can't be fixed. Of course, you know, when stitches fray, totally fixable, you know, you take it in. Even with Chanel, when you have frayed stitches or pop stitches, they can fix that. I haven't had an issue and I don't have any, um, you know, uh, doubts that Hermes will not fix this. Of course they will, right? Just like with, with Chanel, what they've done. Um, 
inside, I mean, this bag is glazed, okay? But I did notice a crack in the glazing on the inside. So I'll share a, a photo of that. Um, again, not too bad, but you know, you'd expect to have ba bags from Hermes that are issue free. But I do notice that, okay? Now here, uh, right at the piping here, um, I do have rubbing of the, of the color and the reason why that's rubbed is because the dust bag was too snug for the bag. So this is a Birkin 30 and the dust bag that came with it um, is too snug when you pull this off because the bag kind of comes out a bit. So it doesn't matter how much you open it up, it'll always rub here. So that was problematic so I haven't been storing it in its dust bag. I've been storing it in like another larger bag. So I'm not storing it in this. And the color has um, sort of come off and that's bothersome because I like haven't used this bag a whole lot. Um, and again, uh, it's kind of like a tan sort of color underneath. So it's like again, this color is placed on top. It's not, you can't dye a leather to be lighter, you know, like the leather has to be bleached and then there's something put on top. So, um, that, you know, I, again, I'm not, um, I'm not concerned about that because if it is, then it can be touched up to my understanding. I did email, uh, Hermes, uh, repairs. I went on the website, I just sent them an email, um, telling them the issues and they said, you know, just, um, if you can bring it into boutique whenever you can and we can have it looked at. And again, I mean, I don't have any doubts that this is not something that can be fixed. It's just disappointing that that happened just from coming out of the dust bag that it rubbed, okay? Um, and a dust bag is soft, right? Like, it's not like it's abrasive or anything like that. That is that is definitely something that's disappointing. Um, and it shouldn't happen based on, you know, what we think of um, as being, like, the epitome of quality, right? Like, um, things happen, these are just handbags, but... The concern with this is, is this even leather, right? That's the concern. Um, Cause this is, you know, it's quite it's coated, right? So that's something that, you know, I'd like to find out myself. Um, you know, it feels like leather, it smells like leather, but then if there's, you know, concerns that it, it isn't, then that's, that's awful, right? My green trendy CC again is wonderful it still is great um, but I remember in my review I mentioned at the bottom there's a tiny 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 speck of white and that looks as though the colors flaked off and that was basically the first day that I ever used it I noticed it I put it on the counter a glass counter display counter and I took it off and then later on I noticed there's a little speck missing so you know that kind of told like made me feel as though these colored leathers are white or very light underneath and there's a color put on top uh, that can flake off. It's not soaked or dyed through. I will update you with what's going to happen. Um, again, I still love my 22. There's, you know, no gross issues there. Just a little bit of rubbing. But, you know, what happened to Romina's bag is unacceptable. What happened to Jacob's bag is unacceptable. And uh, if any of you have, um, you know, concerns, uh, definitely uh, pitch it to the boutique. It is not the fault of the sales associate who sold me the bag. It is not the fault of the boutique that sold me the bag at all. Um, you know, I, I don't think that they are necessarily that knowledgeable on recognizing quality issues um, or being briefed on leathers and stuff like that because anytime there's a quality concern, um, they see it and then they'll send it off to repairs for an assessment. They're not really in the position to do that. They're really in the position to sell you bags and provide that customer service. So. That has to be first and foremost and um, you know I will bring it in and see what they say and I'll update you guys. Alright guys I'll see you next time. Bye.